All right, what's going on, people? Eddie Wynn back in today, November clothing and sneaker haul. Got an accessory to show you guys as well. A lot of stuff, let's jump right into it. First up, I got a pair of sneakers to show you guys, and these are crazy. This is a collaboration between Extra Butter and Saucony. This packaging is just insane. These are inspired by a night out at the movie theaters, but a drive-in theater. Kind of like a 70s and 60s type vibe. So these are the Shadow 5000 and these were actually chosen by people that follow Extra Butter on social media. People voted as to which model they were gonna use and the Shadow 5000 won. There's so much going on with these sneakers. I really, really like the colorway. You also get four sets of laces. I don't wanna spend too much time on these even though they deserve it, uh, but shout out to Saucony, shout out to Extra Butter. Next up, I actually have a watch to show you guys. I don't think I've ever shown a watch on this channel. So this is coming in from Yod. I know it looks like Jord, but it's pronounced Yod. This is a wooden watch. You guys may have seen these before. They reached out to me a couple times and they kept asking uh, if I wanted to show this watch and I didn't have time to, no pun intended. I put these guys on hold until now because I do think that their watches are super unique. You don't see a wood watch every single day. And I think the concept is cool. This is not a dyed wood or anything like that. This is the wood in its natural color. I thought this was a really cool combination with the dark brown, the emerald green, and then the gold accents. I was not sure if I was gonna like this or not. I actually do. I was thinking if I didn't, I could just give it as a gift. I also really like the packaging. Obviously the watch comes inside. And then you have this pull out drawer down at the bottom. So I I actually can put my chain that I wear every day right here because I just drop it on my dresser. I don't have a spot for it. So now we can actually slide it into this drawer. So I will link you guys to Yod down below. I'm actually gonna do a giveaway and a promo code. Check down in the description to where you can enter the giveaway. It's international, so you can enter, anybody can win. And then I also have a promo code for $25 off. That'll be down in the description. Let's keep it moving. Let's get into some clothing. I have a flannel. I bought this from H&M. I have no idea if I'm gonna wear this or not. I don't buy a lot of clothing from H&M. I'm usually very let down on the quality. And honestly, I kind of feel the same way here. This was 25 bucks. I was willing to take a, a risk on it. It's soft, but it just doesn't look that great. I do like the color with the navy, the gray, and the white, but it just looks so cheap, man. Like the collar is all beat up. It's, I need to iron it. I don't know, man. Who knows if I'm gonna wear this, but uh, if there's any flannels from H&M that you've been rocking recently, let me know. I did pick up some other affordable flannels recently that I like. You'll see those in more videos going forward. Next up, I got some denim from Contemporary Goods. This is the Stockton jeans. You guys know how I feel about Contemporary Goods. They make great denim at an affordable price. This is super soft. You've got six inch bottoms and it's a washed black denim. This is something you can wear all the time. These hit for like 60 bucks, I think, and it's not cheap material. It's nice. So if you have not checked out Contemporary Goods, go ahead and do that. It's one of my favorite up and coming brands right now that's kind of under the radar. I have a bunch of clothing from them, denim, hoodies, and t-shirts. I wear them all the time and they've held up great. Keeping it moving, I have a sneaker unboxing and honestly, I haven't opened these up yet and I got them about six months ago. <laughs> I put this in the corner of my closet and I totally forgot about it. I have a good idea of what's in here. These are some samples that Puma actually had at their headquarters. They asked me if I wanted them. I said yes because, wow, that is crazy. All right, so this is a collaboration between Puma and A-Life. And as you can see, the form stripe is done in what snake is this? I forget what snake this is. I know what it is. Somebody tell me. Somebody that's been watching Planet Earth, please tell me what type of snake that is. But anyway, it is a snake print on the form stripe, and I thought that was so cool. You've got a super long-haired suede all on the upper. The midsole is actually an off-white as well, which I kind of like. It already has like a yellowish tint to it. So it has this aged look, 
One thing that's great about these is that you can wear them and they're still gonna look the same. These are pretty much already broken in and then I also have the low top version here in like a dark gray. So I thought this was a cool collaboration by A-Life. I think this was part of their third drop. I like the design, just wanted to share with you guys that I have these and uh, I completely forgot about them. Shouts to Puma, shouts to A-Life, let's keep it moving. Last up I have two things from EPTM. This is a marled tan boxy tee and I like this color. That's pretty much the reason why I got this and the hoodie I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It's like a dark caramel brown, very appropriate for fall. Not a lot to it. Pretty much the only reason I got this is for layering underneath a flannel or underneath a hoodie. I have a top man tee that looks similar to this, but the quality isn't as nice. Definitely better quality here and it's made in USA. And then last up, I have a Sherpa hoodie also from EPTM in this like really weird green color. And when I saw it online, I was like, I hate that. And then five seconds later, I was like, I like that. No, I hate that. No, I like that. So I eventually just got it. I'm into different colors. I don't want everything to just be a solid olive color. Like this is like a lighter, greener olive. So I don't know, man. The texture kind of got me into it a little bit too. As you can see, it's got that Sherpa material all on it. This is kind of a hard sweatshirt to describe, but uh, just know it's the Sherpa hoodie from EPTM. You've got a kangaroo pouch, no drawstrings, and very dropped shoulders. All right, so that is a look at everything. Hit that thumbs up button for me one time. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys liked. Let me know what you've been picking up recently. I'm always down to chop it up in the comment section. So if you've scooped anything recently, let me know. If there's something I should check out, let me know. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. All Eddie Win Kicks. New video dropping soon. Keep an eye out for it. If you missed any of my last videos, go check them out. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.